formulae to calculate the area of various geometric figures, which are very helpful in many real-life applications. However, these formulae are inadequate for calculating the areas enclosed by some curves. Now, in order to find such areas, we need the concept of integral calculus. We've already learned how to calculate the integral of a given function and briefly understood how it could be used to find the area under a simple curve. In application of integrals, we are going to understand this concept in depth and find the area under simple curves, the area between lines and arcs of circles, parabolas and ellipses. So how do you calculate the area under a simple curve? Let's understand. Now consider a curve given by y equal to f of x. We have to find the area bounded by this curve, the x-axis and the coordinates x equal to a and x equal to b. Now consider an arbitrary vertical strip of height y and width dx and located at an arbitrary position within the region specified by some value of x between a and b. So what will be the area of this strip? Yes, the area will be given by y times dx and we will denote this area as dA. Now we can divide the area under this curve into a large number of such thin strips. Each of these areas will be called elementary area. Now we can say that the total area of the region PQRSP is the addition of all these elementary areas of thin strips across the region. We can express this area as integration of dA from A to B. On substituting dA and y, we get the integration as shown. Similarly, to find this area bounded by the curve x equal to g of y, y-axis and the lines y equal to c and y equal to d, we will consider a horizontal strip as shown. Hence, this area is equal to the integration from c to d, g of y, dy. Now, if the curve under consideration is below the x-axis and f of x is negative, then the area bounded by the curve, x-axis and the coordinates x equal to a, x equal to b, will come out to be negative. In such a case, we will consider only the numerical value of the area. So that's how we calculate the area under a simple curve. In the next video, we will solve an example based on this. So, see you there!